Hello, and welcome to this quick and easy tutorial on how to make a thumbnail for Twitter or YouTube on a Mac. Now, most professionals would make a thumbnail on Photoshop, but Photoshop is complicated and expensive. What most people can get away with is using Preview, which is free and built into your Mac already. And it's got a lot of powerful features that most people don't know about. So to make a thumbnail, you have to start out with a picture. Um, there's a few ways to do that. One way is to use a photo that you've already taken, in which case you would just go to photos, drag it onto your desktop, and notice how it opens automatically in preview. Another way to start out is with a white background. How you would do that is do a Google search for white background and all these lovely white backgrounds show up. In fact, you can use other colors and textures as well. Remember, don't just drag it onto the desktop because that'll give you the small version. Click on it first, get the big version, and then drag it onto your desktop. And notice how when I click on it, again, it opens automatically in preview. Another way to start out a thumbnail is with an internet photo, and that's the way I'm gonna do it. So I did an internet search for a cat, and again, don't drag the small version out, click on it and drag the big version. And that's what I'm gonna start out with. If I click on it, I'm in preview. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I need to annotate this. To do that, you go to this little toolbox right here. And this is where all the power of preview hides. If you click on it, you get this awesome toolbar with all kinds of tools on it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is make a backdrop to write on and to do that, I'm gonna click on this tool up here that says shapes, and then this tool right here, which says squares. And it's gonna get me a little square. Now, up here, you'll notice there's a border color and a fill color. Now, we don't want any border, so we click on it, and see this little red slash? That means, hey, look, I don't want any border, and the border goes off. And for the color, I'm gonna use a very, very dark gray. And this is what I'm gonna write on top of. So I, this is where my writing's gonna go. Now, I don't wanna to totally block the cat out, so one kind of cool trick, if you click again on the fill color, at the very bottom, you'll see something that says show colors. And if you click on that, at the very bottom, you'll see a little slider for opacity. And usually I like to drag it to about 50%. So what that's gonna do, is give me a nice even surface to write on top of, but yet I can still see the cat. So the next step is to annotate. And to do that, you're gonna need the text tool, which lives right there. And you click on it and you get a big thing of text. Uh, I'm gonna write my cute cat video. And I'm gonna select all that text and go up here to the format text tool and what that's gonna allow me to do is to change the color. I'm gonna make it a bright green. And I can also change the size of it pretty easily, make it as big as I can without making it too big. Let me center it. Those little yellow lines actually will help you center it perfectly. And there it is. Uh, there's my thumbnail. Looks great. I'm gonna save it, file, save. And now it lives on, happily on my desktop. And now I'm ready to use it, either in YouTube or Twitter or where else. I would just drop it right into my tweet and bam, there it is. Nothing better than a tweet with a picture on it. Now, let's say if you wanted to make the thumbnail for YouTube, uh, I'm gonna do this whole process uh, one more time. Now this time I'm gonna start out with a screenshot. Now to take a screenshot, I'm gonna click on this magnifying glass in the top right corner of my screen and type the word grab and that's gonna launch something called grab. And then I click on capture selection and it tells me to drag over the portion of the screen I want to capture. So I wanna capture these mountains. Don't worry, it's not gonna grab that little window there. And there I have it, I've got my mountains. Now I wanna save this. So file save and now I can X out a grab double click on my screenshot, and that takes me back to preview. One little side note, uh, I could have used Command Shift 4 to do that screenshot. Uh, that's a shortcut that I use a whole lot. But if you don't remember shortcuts, just use grab. So anyway, here's my screenshot. Again, I click on my toolbox, grab the square tool, 
make a nice uh, even place to do my writing. Click on the text tool. This is my desktop. Make it bigger, smaller, or whatever you want to do. And there it is. There's my lovely thumbnail. Save it with File Save. And there it is right there. Now, if you want to use it as a YouTube thumbnail, you would go to whatever YouTube video you want to use it as a thumbnail for. You'd click on the little pencil. And then you'd click on uh, Custom Thumbnail. Now, if that button does not appear, you've got to do one little thing first. You've got to go up to your picture, click it, and then click Creator Studio. And then click on Channel. And if that doesn't say verified, if it says a, if there's a button there that says verify, you have to click that button. It's going to send you a text and then it'll later say verified and that'll give you the ability to make custom thumbnails. It'll become green instead of grayed out. So again, let me go back to my video and hopefully you can see this custom thumbnail button. I click it. I find it on my desktop and open it. And then you click Save Changes, which is right there. And now I have a new thumbnail for my video. Now it won't show up immediately. Sometimes it takes a while for it to show up. So we did it. So we created a custom thumbnail for Twitter or for YouTube or for whatever. And we did it with Preview, which was free and simple. That's it for now, and we'll see you next time.